you're gonna put the red border back on. Ladies and gentlemen! Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. As you know, I'm a big fan of arcade sticks, which is why I have this Nintendo Switch version of the Hori RAP, which is the Real Arcade Pro V arcade stick. I actually bought this to replace stuff like this. This is the Hori Fighting Stick Mini, which although I do enjoy, it's actually kind of shifts around on your lap while you're playing, so you kind of don't get that stability, and it's also a bit smaller and a bit more cramped. But today, I have bought something huge. This is the Street Fighter V edition of the Mad Cats Arcade Stick Tournament Edition 2 Plus. I guess this is like the third or fourth version of a very similar stick that they made. But importantly, they don't make this fight stick anymore. Mad Cats went out of business very sadly. I think they put all their chips in the rock band camp and then that didn't really pan out for them. Anyway, they don't have any more money. The reason I actually wanted this is because on the front of this stick, you can actually replace the artwork that's in here. So I was actually thinking, since I also do a bit of drawing, I'd like to be able to draw my own art and have a very custom stick and then, in a way, make like a really unique, only one in the world stick. So I'm kind of excited about trying to draw my own art for this stick. Also, I just happen to be in the UK right now and away from my actual PS4 stick because I do have another Hori RAP stick like this. But right now, as I'm sorting out kind of hospital stuff right now, there's some surgery stuff going on. I'm gonna talk about it in a separate video, but that stuff's all happening right now in the UK, and so I don't have access to my Japan stuff. So, this is the box. It says Street Fighter V on the front. Arcade Edition is coming out, and that's a free upgrade if you already own Street Fighter V. So planning on making some videos for that as well. I can't figure out how to get it off of it. There's a bit of tape. Well, sadly ripped it already. <laughs> And the card goes right between your nail and your finger. All right, so let's get this paper off. I know that these sticks are very highly regarded in the industry because they're very close. They use a lot of official arcade parts. Ooh, wow, I'm trying to like open this box and the only way is to like wear the box. Okay, well that's, that's come off. This is the stick, very excited. It's nice and big. Okay, it is, it is a little bit smaller. I'm not sure if you can tell on there, but it is a little bit less wide. Loving the look of it, but obviously the main point is not to have Ryu on the front. The main point is to draw my own artwork. Sanwa Denshi parts, which is, I don't know, they're the parts that I quite like just because they remind me of the arcade machines in Japan. It's got a lock switch, which I quite like. I don't really understand why on the Hori pad they don't have a lock switch for the start button, because look, the start button is right by the buttons. There's actually a button here on the front of the stick, and apparently, if you push this, you can actually open it up. So let's see if I can, see if I can do that. You can actually pry the whole, ooh! It's so much easier to open a stick like this because it's got a button entry, I don't know, a button opening mechanism, rather than the Hori RAP, because again, you actually have to unscrew the bottom plate of this, and that takes a little while. Here's the actual USB cable, supposedly, three meters of cable there, but also, as you can see here, it's got a screw tip, and that's actually going to go into the back here. Anyway, I'd like to draw the new artwork, find a way to print it out somewhere, and then get it onto this stick, and we're gonna see what it looks like as a custom arcade stick. All right, so before starting, I had to decide on a character, and as you can see, I've gone for Sakura. One, because she's got this cool, fresh new look in Street Fighter V, seeing as she is the first downloadable character that we have for Street Fighter V Arcade Edition. She's got a great new look with this new costume. Supposedly, she's graduated from high school and she's got a new job now. I guess she's maybe a singer or some kind of idol style character, but also because I wanted to have a move that fits around the joystick. And this is a legit real move that she actually does in the game where she jumps up in the air and knocks people with her feet and hands at the same time. And this is the wind up for that move. And so I thought this would be an ideal pose to have here on the artwork for the joystick. So 
So this is the line art stage and I've gone in and changed the color of the lines to pink so that it's easier to do the line art. And I like this stage because you're not really just tracing the lines that you did in the rough sketch, you actually get to design the final lines. You're really thinking, what do I want the final line work to look like? So sometimes and often you'll see that I actually do stray away from the original rough line because I'll see maybe a better line path that I actually like. I'm a big fan of this microphone that they've put on the side of her face. I guess she's had to find a new career that pays for her travels around the world as she still wants to be a street fighter but she needs a job that pays well and I guess being a famous singer is clearly a job that pays well for her. I'm drawing this on my Wacom Mobile Studio Pro 13 inch tablet which is really has been really great for me because it not only does all the drawing stuff that I need to do but it also does screen recording so that I can make videos like this one and even it actually plays Street Fighter 5 even though I don't have the version with the dedicated graphics card it's just got the Iris 550 graphics it actually plays Street Fighter 5 at low set <laughs> like really really low settings so I'm actually quite impressed by this tablet it's been able to do a a lot of things including the edit for this video that we are watching right now. Okay this is the fun part where you get to see the whole character come to life with colour. I'm a fan of the colour scheme on this costume because the dark navy contrasts really well with the really bright pink trim. In general I put the flat colors down first and then I put a layer of sort of very light shade and then I go in with a slightly darker shade but it's not a really harsh only shade because I, I used to enjoy the anime style coloring where there was no soft shading at all but now I've gone for a more in-between kind of style where you put the light shadow down first and then you put a slightly harder shadow down after that. So no really, really harsh shadows like in pure anime, but it still has that anime sort of 2D kind of look. Now this scarf or neckerchief or cravat, I'm not really sure what it is she's wearing there instead of a tie, but it's cool. And I'm not, I'm also not really 100% sure what the design is on it, what it's supposed to be. I mean, I know what it looks like, but it's got like gold chains over pink flowers. And I guess the pink flowers are the Sakura, the cherry blossoms, which is, you know, her name is Sakura, which means cherry blossom. So many things that you can do during a painting session that actually really brings the characters to life and I think shading is one of them but also highlights as long as you get the highlights in the right place and don't forget there's highlights even on the darkest shaded part of the character a lot of the time even though you go into the shaded area there will be reflected light that comes from the opposite direction and that can really give the final three-dimensionality. Even though you're going for a 2D look, it really does help with that three-dimensionality of the painting. All in all, I'm quite happy with the way it turned out and I'm especially glad that I found a pose that puts a character on the left side but not right underneath where your palm would be. I didn't want to have a character face right under your hands because then every time you're actually playing people only see, you know, like people, a character's legs or something sticking out when really I want people to be able to see the face of the character while I'm playing with the arcade stick. Alright, so this is the big moment. I've just been to the printers down the road to get this printed and have a look. This is the final image and I've actually done two copies just in case I mess one up and I need to redo it in the cutting. I thought, wow, this camera is really, really dark. The next stage of this experiment is to try and cut this so that it actually fits on here. Alright, so as you can see, this is the Mad Cat's 
Tournament Edition 2 plus arcade stick with the Street Fighter logo on it, but we're going to be changing that in a moment to have this image. You can actually push this and open up the entire arcade stick. There's a screwdriver hidden in here. We can actually use this to unscrew, I think there's six of them, six of these screws. First of all, there is a red binding. We can put that there, but what we really want is this. I'm going to put this over the image like so. Color in the holes and then we're going to actually cut it. Now remember kids, if you're going to be working with sharp objects to check with a responsible individual nearby, sadly I'm the only person I have nearby so I'll just have to ask myself. Okay, unfortunately I can't find any sellotape but I can find a heavy object. Weigh this down on here so that it doesn't actually move and then hopefully I'll be able to draw this without it budging. So let's go ahead and get to the cutting. This is clearly not the best. Ooh, that was dangerous. I have a bad feeling about this. All right, I've changed my mind. I'm going to get a knife. All right, so I was having a little stress. As you can see, this was clearly not looking as clean as it could be. So I went to the shops and I've bought myself an exacto knife. Alright, so really all that's left to do is to take this custom artwork that we've drawn and printed and cut to the correct size. Size. We're going to put it on here, get the acrylic. The acrylic pad is going to go on next. Just make sure it's moderately, moderately clean. Stick that on like so, that's looking okay. And then we're going to put the red border back on. Ladies and gentlemen! Have a look at that. That is what it's going to look like. I haven't put the ball top back on yet, but this is looking very promising indeed now. So there you have it, everyone. This is my new Mad Cat arcade stick. I do really like the feel of it. I like the fact that the lever is a little bit floppier or it's a little looser than on the Hori RAP. The Hori RAP is nice, but it's a little tougher and I quite like the feel of this one. It's a little bit looser. I feel like there's less tension, which for some reason I happen to like. There's no real reason. There's no really good reason for it. Anyway, I reckon this has been a really fun project and I highly recommend that you try it, especially if you're into art or if you just happen to have an image that you really, really like that you want to be your arcade stick. I'm really happy with the way that this has turned out. If you've got any questions, obviously do leave them in the comments section below. If you're interested in getting the artwork that I've drawn for this stick and you want to use it on your own arcade stick, just let me know in the comments and maybe I'll put a link in the description or find a place that I can upload it that you can all download it for free or something. I think that might be nice if you're interested in making your own stick. There you go, arcade stick. Make it yourself, highly recommend it. Hope you've enjoyed this Nihongo Gamer video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.